Hello everyone, so this is a video to show you how to download Championship Manager 0102 and to set it up with the Lusenhof database um, with a few tweaks of my own. Now basically the Lusenhof database, the idea of it, of it was to make the original game back in 0102 as realistic as possible um, so the original game a lot of players on the game that became world-class players in real life your Wayne Rooney's your Carlos Tevez's your Mascarano's your Zidane's your Ronaldinho's on the game uh, original game they didn't perform as well as they did in real life. So basically what Lusenhoff did, he tweaked all these players so that they performed like they did in real life. He also toned down players that became brilliant in the game but didn't in real life. So he toned them down in the game and he made made everything realistic really. That's, that was the whole idea of it. Um, he done fantastic work and he deserves all the credit for that database um, unfortunately he went missing from the forum uh, for quite a while for whatever reason and nobody saw him since and there were still a few things that people put up on the forum that needed doing to make it even more complete so basically what I did was make it even more complete by adding these um, changes and also putting my own players into the database that Lusenhoff didn't get round to doing um, so this video basically shows you how to get that working so the first thing you need to do is go onto the internet and if you haven't got some sort of mount um, program or WinRAR then I would download these things so basically you want to go to this website this is the one I use WinCDEMU you just go to download um, and then download the latest version that's if you haven't got some sort of mounting program already or your Windows doesn't uh, doesn't mount for you um, and then download WinRAR by clicking this get these two programs I would uh, totally free and you're gonna need them really so once you've got them what you then want to do is go onto this website champman0102.net now this is a community that's thriving it's been thriving for many years what these boys do they keep the game alive they make data updates um, a month or two after every transfer window so you can play with modern day teams and players and there's also patches which fix a lot of the bugs and you can play in the correct start year it's, it's fantastic what they do to keep the game alive and you've got to take your hat off to them um, so this is the place to be so what you want to do you want to register an account I've already got one but yeah, register agree to the terms follow all the prompts activate it via your email I'm just going to log in now so I'll pause it quick once I'm logged in and return to you okay so I'm logged in you will need to have an account to access the downloads then what you want to do you want to go to downloads here okay you want to go down to game you got to forgive the pop-ups by the way I don't know why I keep getting these come up I think it's because I've just cleaned my laptop and give it a big old reset um, so that's probably why because I haven't got some sort of pop-up blocker um, so you want this Championship two Manager 2001-02 official download. Go down, download this. It will be a zip file, I think, so you will need to extract it, the files. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, I won't do it on this particular file, though, because I've already got it on my desktop. But for the next file that I do, I'll show you how to extract if you don't know how to. So once you've done that, you will get that come up here once you've extracted it or downloaded it um, now if you double click that you can burn it to a disk if you've got some sort of burning software you can burn it to a physical disk if you really want to um, personally I wouldn't bother because it's easier to mount it um, but if you did want a physical copy that is 
just double click it and burn it to a blank CD basically obviously for mounting purposes which are easier you right click it now if you download the mounting program that I told you to download you'll click this uh, select drive letter and mount sorry it just come off there so there it is obviously if you've got another program or you're using a uh, one that's specified for Windows it might say mount so you use that instead but because of that one that we downloaded you would click this um, it said, then says choose a drive I just keep it on V go to OK you'll get this come down here click that click run auto run yes and you'll come up with the setup which is here now if you don't get this come up you might see this instead you might see all these folders here see all of this you might see that instead of what I've just seen there if you do see this just click setup.exe instead and that will bring up what you're seeing here okay so you just go OK English or whatever nationality you are um, scroll down I would you don't have to but I do just to be sure yes next typical keep it on next next let that do its thing okay so create a shortcut I would personally make sure they're both ticked finish close okay and there we have it there it is now because I've already installed it before on this machine you it might be a bit different for you but you right click it you go to properties go to compatibility this is a must you must do this yours probably won't be like this but click make sure that's ticked run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then make sure it's on Windows XP service pack 3 also make sure it, you're running it as an administrator that, that is ticked so them two things are a must Windows Service Pack 3 run as an administrator apply it OK now if you was to play a network game like you wanted to play online with a friend you would change the compatibility to Windows 95 that's if you're playing a network game if you're playing single player you want Windows XP Service Pack 3 OK, so that's that one done. You then want to download a couple of patches. So go back or just go back into the downloads. You want to go to patches and you want this here. Sci Games Patcher V3968. Click that. Um, it will be there. Again, it will come as a zip file. I've already got it. So now I can show you how to extract if you don't know how to do that. So once you've downloaded that, it should come in a file like this. It will look like a load of books locked up. Click that. Click on the second file. Extract to desktop. OK. And you should see it now. There it is. That's how you extract if you didn't know how to do it. I'm sure most of you do. But that is how you extract. And that's what you would do with this file as well um, if it was packed up like that so basically you just click that the patch yes let it do its thing click next finish easy as that close that so that's that done okay you then want to go back back into the downloads patches again you want to download oh sorry no no you don't you want to go to ah so basically databases if you went to databases and you wanted to have the April 2023 data update that's here all the databases are here pretty much you've got 2020 2015 now the process that I'm going to show you in a minute obviously we're adding the Lucenhof database with the tweaks I've made but if you wanted a different database you would follow the exact same process as what I'm about to show you but this is where you find all the different databases so the April 2023 is the latest one from when this video is made 
Um, so you'd have Harry Kane at Spurs, Jurgen Klopp at uh, Liverpool as manager, Mourinho at Roma. It's all updated. Fantastic work they do. So if you wanted that one, you would just do exactly what I'm doing here, but just download that instead. But obviously the folder we want, you will find here. So if you go to data updates, scroll down to Lusenhoff database, page four. Now if you go to the post that I made from June the 12th, Monday at 9.44, you will see the two download links. I'll put these two links in the uh, description of the video, so you won't need to come here if you don't want to, um, but you can come here if you want. Um, basically, these are some of the tweaks that I've made. I've made previous ones in previous posts, but this is the latest one to, to date. Um, these are the players that I created, basically, and put in the database. Now, before I go on, I do want to say that if they were born in 1987, the players, they won't have the right date of birth. That's because the game, um, something to do with the game, they won't allow players that young to have the right database if they were born, uh, sorry, date of birth if they were born in 1987. So players like Lionel Messi, um, who else was born in 1987? I think, let me have a quick look just to refresh myself. I think um, Benzema was, I think, I think. Um, them players won't have, they'll be born in the right year, 1987, but they won't have the right, right birthday. Now, if you're a bit of a perfectionist like me and you want them to have the right birthday, what you would do is wait until they're about the age of 16 and you can download a thing called Graham Kelly's Save Game Editor and what that does it allows you to change their date of births um, on your save basically so wait until they're 16 um, use that save game editor to change their date of births if you wanted even more realism um, and you're a bit of a perfectionist like me <laughs> um, but that's for another video on how to use that so I wouldn't worry too much so obviously these two links here they're two different links this one here is if you want the database with all the players that I've created there to be tran future transferred that means you won't be able to buy them from the off you'll only be able to buy them once they transfer to the team that they went to in real life at the right point and this one here allows you to buy them straight away so like as a 14 year old 15 year old personally I prefer this one because I think it makes it more realistic um, but if you can't wait to sign these sort of players and you want to sign them young then by all means go for that one but yeah I'm going to go with this one so you just click it you download it I've already got it but yeah it's just a case of doing what you did with the others you download it it will then be in your downloads folder as data and you do what you did with the patch you just click that, the second one, extract it to the desktop. OK, wait for that to do its thing. There it is, data. I'm going to move that there. What you then do, you click in it, you copy every single one of these folders. Make sure they're all copied, every single one of them, none of them are missed. Right click, copy. You then go to your C drive, local disk C, program files times 86, championship manager 0102, go into your data folder and paste everything in here. Replace the files in the destination, click that. Make sure this is ticked, do this for all current items and then click continue. And that's that done. Now what I said to you before if you wanted the April 2023 data update or the next date update that's come in or an older one you just do the exact same thing download that folder extract it get the folders paste them into here it's, that's the, what you do for any database um, so that's that bit done now the next bit is the bread and butter next patcher which makes everything even more realistic it irons out all the bugs fantastic bit of kit 
Uh, so you want to go all the way back, back into the downloads section, which I'm trying to find. Where is it? There it is. Back into patches like before. And the latest one um, from me doing this video is version 2.25. So you click that, you do what we've done before. I've already got it, but yep, download it. When it's downloaded, it'll be here. There it is, the books locked up. Extract it again. Click on the second one, extract the desktop, okay there we go and there it is the patcher okay so then what you do you click this yes say no to this here we go this is your bread and butter first things first double check that it's got the right XE go to browse go to local disk C go to program files times 86 champ manager 0102 and then make sure this is clicked here CMO 102 and then click no again there we go so if you was playing a, a data update like April 2023 you could change the start year so you are starting in the year 2022 um, you could also put current infl currency inflation up to about 2, 250, 3, whatever you want what that does is it makes transfer values wages the, the the value for players so for instance players going for like 90 mil 100 mil like they are in real life um, but obviously because we're using a database that is made especially for the year 0102 you want to keep the currency inflation as it is um, because back then 20 million was like a wow factor wasn't it but now 20 million's a peanut so yeah you want to keep that as zero for this particular one if you was using the data update you'd increase that and you change the start year game speed you can do what you want with that if you like it really fast you can change it to times 2000 or whatever you want personally I like it as it is so I don't modify it now some of these you would want to put on for the data update for so for example the one that's the latest one April 2023 you would probably want to put disable unprotected contracts on remove UK free foreign player limit because then things don't exist no more but because they did in 0102 to keep the game as realistic as possible you want to keep them ticked off now for this particular database these would be the ones that I would recommend that you put on obviously you can do anything you want it's completely up to you um, but these would be the ones that I would do to keep the game realistic so I would put on enable coloured attributes I would disable the splash screen I'd show star players definitely want to obtain jobs abroad easier on so that's that solves an issue where on the old game you couldn't get jobs abroad very at all basically it was a bug but this fixes that um, you can change the screen resolution to whatever you want it to that's up to you but I just leave it as it is um, you don't want these two on you can put false load all players on if you want and you can put manage any team I'm not going to put them on for this but you can um, show hidden attributes that, again that's one that's up to you it shows an extra column of hidden things like I don't know loyalty, dirtiness, things like that um, I'm going to put that on because I like it but that's down to you definitely put that on apply known bug fixes um, disable the CD removal position in tactics conditions window allow closing game definitely region fixes um, definitely to Pani's region code and enable your potential to grow they would be the ones that I would put on there what I would do then is click apply you can create a restore point but I'm not going to so click no and this should patch it there we go patch successfully then you go into tools now what you can do here 
this here EEC patcher that removes work permits but obviously back in 0102 work permits were a thing um, so I would leave it on probably but you can take it off if you want um, I'm going to remove stadium limits and I'm going to show you how to do that and that would be the same for the patcher if you wanted to do that all you do is click that double click this and that removes it basically that allows you to expand your stadium to um, as high as you want I think I believe anyway uh, you can edit the history and things if you want if you notice something that's a bit out of turn I'm a bit of a buff like that but you don't have to do it uh, referee patcher you can make the referees more lenient for red cards you can drop that if you want I'm just going to leave it um, then what you want to do go to apply a mispatch now I wouldn't apply a lot of these if I were you a lot of them are intended for the data update uh, like 28 April 2023 and things like that um, and they can uh, ruin your game if you put too many on but there is one particular one that you should put on and if you search network it's here fix network games patch that's if you're gonna play a network game with someone what that does is basically fix that so um, it, it fixes it from going tits up basically so put that on that would be the only one I put on for this particular database the others are up to you you can have a read through them um, but a lot of them are more intended for the recent updates so click apply yes and there we go that's it there we go now I believe it's all done um, so what you then do is come off of that click X and it's a case of just starting your game up I'm not going to load the game up because it will close my um, recording screen but once you're in the game it's away you go basically you just start it up and it should be fine um, I would go into the settings the game settings before you start and I would put on maximum database and I think it's 20,000 matches stored I always put them on because I like to have a maximum database so you get the most of the players I would put them two things on so click the, the icon up here go into the game go to game settings put maximum database and 20,000 matches stored I'm pretty sure it's 20,000 and that's it that's everything done hope you enjoy the video